Okay, how'd you go from Saturday nights? Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly, you go to Miss Jones in the morning? Well, first, before that, I started doing um, weekends. Mm -hmm. So I'm the type of person, when I get in that door, I want to know everything. So I, I get in the Hot 97 door, and I'm like, Tracy Clarity was the program director at the time, and I was like, I want to learn everything. I want to learn how to talk radio. I want to learn how the Vox Pro works and the machine works. I want to learn how to program music. I want to learn this, learn that. So I would just go to Hot 97 all day long, and she would teach me. And she was like, you know what, Envy, I'm going to give you... Uh, I'm going to let you try Sunday mornings early, uh, I think it was like 5 to 7 a.m. I was like, all right. I remember my first day, the fire alarm went off. Whew, so fire alarm's going off. So I'm like, shit, I don't know what to do. <laughs> they were like, you got to evacuate. So I didn't know what to do. So I put in a, a Mr. C. I had a Mr. C cassette. I just put in a Mr. C cassette and I ran out the building. <laughs> and she was like, Envy, what are you doing? I'm like, yo, police came. They was like, you never leave. I'm like, even if the building's on fire? No. <laughs> I was like, all right. And after that, I never left that radio. I, I started learning how to talk and how to tease. And yo, coming up in three minutes, we, we're giving away tickets to see Mob Deep. And we started learning that. Um, and then Star and Buck Wild had an incident on the radio where it just got nasty and they just wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. they, they, they wanted to leave. Um, so they was like, okay, we'll give, you, we'll give you a chance. We'll give you a chance to do radio. We need somebody in there that knows how to do radio. So they put me and Joe Button together. Joe Button was doing radio that, that, back then. So Joe Button, me and Joe Button did a radio show. And uh, Joe Button was dope. He was nice, but yep. he would just always be falling asleep. Like, he was, he's a rapper. Um, so they used him for a couple of months, and it was like, no, we need somebody that's more persistent, knows how they do. So they hired Miss Jones. And uh, I stayed with Miss Jones, and I think we did radio for like two, three years on, on Hot 97 Morning Show. That was a really great um, morning show. What did you learn from Miss Jones during that period? Because now mm -hmm. people work hard to get to a morning show slot. That, that's not an easy slot to get in radio. Right. You're coming off of the clubs, hard body, mm -hmm. Saturday nights. Right. You're doing whatever you can do behind the scenes, but you're not prime time yet. Morning show on Hot 97, that's a big deal. Right. What'd you learn? I mean, from Ms. Jones, the, the, the main thing, I learned a lot of things not to do with Ms. Jones, not to do in the industry, but I also learned the main thing with Ms. Jones would made Ms. Jones probably one of the best personalities ever, she got in her own way, but ever, was that she can pull anything out of the sky, make it a topic, and make it great radio. So we could be talking about, um, let's say, this young lady's writing right now, right? She could make it a topic. Call us up right now, 800-585-1051. Do y'all think her pen is blue or black? Let's talk about it. The winner gets so-and-so. <laughs> and everybody would call the phone lines. She was brilliant at that. She, she wouldn't come prepared but well, she didn't need to because her mind was that great. And I was like, wow. So even now, I can be listening, driving on my way to, to, to work, and I could just think of something just off of that because she taught me how to think like that. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.